My name is Regina Rowland, and I currently live in Conyers, Georgia. Just moved there two years ago uh, this week, as a matter of fact, from California. And uh, in California, I had a wellness center and did healing arts for about the past 20 years. And I met a person that came from Georgia to the healing center where I worked to have work done by me. And after a while, we developed a relationship. I had to fire him as a client. <laughs> And um, after four years of going back and forth, I moved to Georgia. Um, the doctor I was working with and studying subtle energy with died, and so I took on his clients, and I just really got burnt out. So my sweetheart said, why don't you move here? He's a scientist and has a lab. Um, and I finally said, okay. So he said, just come here, relax, close down the business, sell your car, we'll get you a new car. So just relax. So I did the move and three months after I moved he had a bilateral stroke and I happened to be there when it happened. And so um, I immediately started doing a infinite love and gratitude, called the paramedics and I didn't even know where the hospital was. I didn't have a car. <laughs> And so I said, I'll follow you. They go, you can't follow us. We're in an ambulance. I go, okay, where's the hospital? So on the way to the hospital, I did Lifeline on the paramedics and the emergency room and everyone in it. And when I got there, I walked outside to um, call his son to let him know we were in a hospital. And I walked back in, and he had flatlined. So again, more Lifeline. And they did, did, um, they did, all the tests and they came back and said, well, Jerry has had a bilateral stroke. And I said, well, we'll have caught into his room because I'm not leaving. And so for the next, um, it was probably about 22 hours, every 45 minutes or so, I would get up and do a lifeline on him. If he was awake, he would be present with me doing the lifeline. If he wasn't, I would use myself as a surrogate. and. Um, Every time he moved or made a, made a noise, I got up and did a lifeline on him. The next day, the, the doctor came in with an occupational therapist, and the occupational therapist said, raise your arm up, Jerry. He was paralyzed on the left side because the stroke was worse on the right side than the left side. And he said, well, I can't. I said, well, sure you can. Lift your arm. And so his arm went straight up. And he was surprised. The doctor was surprised. So the occupational therapist took him out in the hall had him walk up and down the hall, frontwards, backwards, sideways, every way, up and down the stairs, and she said, you don't need me. And the doctor said, I don't know what happened. <laughs> and he was released from the hospital in four days. And in one month, he was given approval to drive. So I know, without a doubt, that that was because of the work that I learned from Dr. Darren Wiseman called the Lifeline Tech. And I'm so grateful for it. <laughs> so that was... Um, about a year and a half ago, and um, of course, it was a big shock to the system, so he lost a lot of weight, and it took a while to get his strength back, but you would never know that anything happened. And um, again, I'm so grateful for the work. And at that point, it, I've been a lifeline practitioner for four years, so at that point, the doctors were asking me for my card and <laughs> saying, the neurologist, when we went for the checkup, he said, do you want to come work for me? <laughs> and I said, no, but I would love to teach. So it's been an incredible journey. And while I would not wish that on myself or anyone, it um, gave me the confidence and competent mm -hmm. factor. I know what I know, and I know what the lifeline can do. There's no doubt in my mind. And I've seen miracle after miracle after miracle happen with the work that I do. So I'm just so grateful and so amazed, and I'm learning all the time, and infinite love and gratitude. <laughs> That's my story.